Hi, I'm Silian. Welcome to my art channel. In this video, I show you how to draw an easy, step-by-step -step picture of a clenched fist in two positions. Enjoy! We'll start the basic shape with our pencil. And those lines are about where the fingers are. And we see that the thumb crosses over most of the ring finger. So here are the, bait, uh, the somewhat rectangular shapes, and we'll round them out later. It's always easiest to start with rectangular shapes when drawing fingers even though it doesn't seem so realistic like that. After you round it out, then it gets a more uh, realistic look. And the underside of the thumb was more, was longer than the, the top of it. So here you see that the knuckle it starts up higher on the back side than on the on the on the I guess the padded side. So we're going to put in all the wrinkles and shading and creases with the pencil. And pay attention to the areas that are very dark, since they are very much shadowed by the other fingers. Drawing a picture of a clenched fist gives many opportunities for shadowing and lighting techniques, since there's a lot going on there. So we'll blend it out with a stump, and then we'll just lift off the outside edge with the eraser so that it doesn't look so sharply drawn. I'm going to, since we already have the base shadows from the pencil, I can just put on top of that layers of pink colors. And you can see that the basic shadow is already in place. Now we're just going to emphasize the shadowed areas with a darker pink and make the general color of the hands in a lighter pink. Clenching the fist also shows some areas as being whiter and some as being pinker. That's a little pressure on some parts of the skin, so some areas look very, very pink, and some look a little bit yellowish even. And there are the lighter pink parts. So here I'm emphasizing creases and the darker parts of the skin with darker pink pencil. between the fingers, at the creases of the index finger, and underneath the thumb. These are all areas that have a lot of dark color. I'm just taking some light turquoise blue to put in the veins as they are readily apparent. And since the skin tone is not exactly 100% pink, we'll add in a touch of yellow to give it a more realistic look. Since white skin is really not white at all, it has many shades of color to it. Pink, purple, blue, yellow. I'm not really sure why it's called white. 
It's very colorful indeed. So that was a view of the, of the palm side, and this will be the view from the knuckle side. So once again, using uh, black rectangular shapes, we'll just put in the basic position of the fingers. And once again, the focus of the bent index finger and thumb is the most clear. That's the angle that we're looking at this hand. Or rather, that was the angle that I was looking at my hand. So this is the picture that I, that I drew. And here we have a lot of shading on the back of the hand. Since the light was on the front side, the shadow was on the back side. So in between the fingers and on the back of the hand, and in that crease of the index finger, that is where there's the most darkest color, and we're adding pink on top of that. Once again, adding a darker pink in those areas that are more shadowed, and in places that there's more pink skin tone in general. Around the knuckles, underneath the thumb, and the next finger. And once again we're adding some yellow, and by the way, the fingernails are a little bit purplish, so I used a, a slightly purple toned pencil for the, for the thumbnails. And here's again veins from this angle. See the veins on the back of the hand. And once we have enough layers of pink down on the paper, we can go over with a stronger, more pressure with a light, very pale tone, and that will blend the colors together. And this is very handy for highlights, a mechanical eraser. That was a lot of fun to just put in those highlights. I guess if you don't have one of those, you might want to leave the areas where the highlights of the whites of the knuckles are showing from the beginning. Just leave them lighter colored because it's hard to take off a color pencil with any other kind of eraser. And they're emphasizing all those creases of the index finger. There really are very many creases, and that could have been a whole project by itself. 